An artificial hip joint consists of four parts. It will be the hip cup, the hip ball, the hip cup inlay and the hip stem. Depends of the patient's bone thickness and structures, the artificial hip joints are in different sizes available. It is modular assembly, it means each component can be replaced independently. For the four parts, it gives different kind of material solution. For example, if you have the cement version, we use here the cobalt chrome for the hip cups, or we have the cement free version, then quite very often it will be used titanium. If you can see here, we have a wide range of different cases of hip balls. Each manufacturer has his own design. So Mike, please give our customers a short impression about the possibility to produce the parts on our G200. Mark, thank you very much. I'd like to take some time now to talk about uh, the index machine solution, uh, the G200. Uh, one of the key components for making medical parts and being profitable at it is to make sure that you have an accurate, consistent, reliable machining process. And to be profitable, you have to make sure that you're making those parts more accurately with less scrap rate than your competitors. How we are proposing and how we do hip cups and this type of machining is our G200 machine tool. Uh, this is a lathe with up to three tool carriers, all with Y-axis, and the upper tool carrier with an integrated B into the turret. This gives you powerful main and sub spindles uh, with up to 7,200 RPMs, and it gives you the ability to do complex work pieces, either on a bar or gantry loaded into the machine itself. It gives you full freedom because you have the ability to balance those parts from the main to the counter spindle because of the versatility of any of the turrets being able to work on either spindle at either time. We allow for quick changeovers and setups on this and a very compact footprint uh, in taking up floor space. When you look at the machine itself, uh, its spindle uh, bower or bar diameter is 65 millimeters. Your spindle speeds are 6,000 RPM for your main and counter spindle with a 32 kilowatt max uh, power and 170 newton meters of torque. Gives you a total turning length of about 660 millimeters and gives you a compact machine solution for that. When you look at the turrets themselves, the upper turret has the ability to articulate and be ran as a B axis with a tool changer that gives you up to five tool change cap capability on the upper turret. And then the two lower turrets are, as I said, both Y-axis and the ability to work on either spindle, allowing for truly balanced machining of your parts. So what we'd like to do now is show you a video of the G200 in action. Uh, this is a hip cup machining process. It's made in cobalt chrome, uh, roughly 50 millimeter uh, length, 28 millimeter diameter bar. It's a 722nd part, and it's manufactured once again on our G200. You can see everything in action in the following video. 